you will learn about weight. What do we mean by weight? Okay, so weight is how heavy something is. Alright, some things are really heavy, like an elephant, right? Good. Now, some things are really light, like a feather. Look at that. Weight is measured using a balance or scale. Alright, so now, if we want to know how much an object weighs without comparing it to another object, we can measure it using weighing scales. So this is our weighing scale. And look, you have to watch where the hand goes. Alright? Next. Well, there are two units that we use for us to say how heavy things are. We have grams and kilograms. We measure weight in grams and kilograms, okay? Now, we use grams and kilograms to measure weight. So, for example, for light objects, we use grams. So we can say, this cotton wool is one gram. And this sugar is one kilogram. A gram is a unit of weight which is used to measure very light objects, just like what I've said in the beginning. These objects are weighed in grams because they are light. Gram is equal to G, so that is the short form. Now, so these are some examples of light materials in which we can use grams as our unit. Alright, now, now a paper clip weighs around one gram. Next, we have kilograms. A kilogram is a unit of weight used to measure heavier objects. These objects are weighed in kilograms because they are heavy. So a kilogram, we can write it down by putting kg. Alright, so some examples of objects that can be measured like using kg or a kilogram is a car, um, a television, a piano, an elephant, a table, and a whiteboard or even people you know all right so you have to tell me if this object that i will be showing you can be measured using kilograms or grams you can write down on your whiteboard kg or g okay now would a bicycle or would a bicycle's weight be measured in kilograms or grams very good it's kilograms how about the lion's weight. Good job. It's kilograms. Next. Would a pencil's weight be measured in kilograms or grams? Great job. Grams. How about the beach ball? Can the beach ball's weight be measured in kilograms or grams? Grams. Perfect. Next one. How about the television's weight? Alright, I can hear you. Kilograms. Correct. How about this sugar? Look. Alright, now this time we're going to learn how to use a weighing scale. So just like what I've said, there is a hand in which it points to the weight of the object that you put on top of it. So, hmm, how heavy is this sugar? It points to one, so it's one kilogram. All right, next. Look, this is a digital weighing scale and you can see the number right here. So can you tell me? Now, the weight of this apple, it's 50 grams. 50, see? 50 grams. Next, how about this cat? Look at the hand, where does it point? It points to three, right? So we can say like, 
This cat is 3 kilograms. How about this pencil case? Alright, so how heavy is this pencil case? It's 150 grams. Alright, so guys, now I want you to sort these objects into grams or kilograms. So let's click on each item to sort them out and reveal the answer, okay? Now, look, how about this? Yes, kilogram. How about the toothpaste? Grams. Television? Kilogram. Sugar? Kilogram. The car? Kilograms. The leaf? Gram. The feather? Very good. Gram. The apple? Gram. The orange? How about the marker? Grams too. The eraser? Grams. And the pencil case? Grams. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I can't wait to see your pictures and your work. 